186 American lives every year. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> we like that one a lot. Yeah. With us now, we're joined by Paul Gross, who plays Frasier in the series, and Callum Keith Rennie, who uh, plays the new edition Kowalski. Is that right? Yeah. Kowalski. Yeah. Stanley Rennie Kowalski. So, so what was the story? Why had CBS dropped it? Were they, was I just have no idea, because it? they're sort of misguided, I think. But you had a huge following, <laughs> didn't you? Well, it was... Uh, uh, television in the United States is odd. It's a real cutthroat mm -hmm. business, and they have... You have to pretty much be a runaway hit. And it wasn't... I don't know, they didn't really seem to have any champions inside CBS. So. Was it because the people, the suits, didn't get it? Because, you know, it's important. They have to get what the humor's about. I mean, yeah, I think that's part of it, but I also think it's a difficult, it's a difficult show for them to figure out how to, to sell to an audience in the United yeah. States. Because US TV is very narrow. It's kind of, you, I mean, this is an odd, it's an odd, a nation of odd people, and you seem to be able to absorb a lot of, a, a much broader kind of, range of if television. You think, if you think this is weird, you have no idea. <laughs> I, you I know have no sort of idea what goes on here. Um, we had a very interesting dinner last night with very odd people. Did you? Oh. No. Did you? Well, English people. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, are you find a strange dinner? Well, I went to, I did the, I, did the, I, did the, I pushed the button. Oh, you did on the, on oh, the lottery, Oh, you on the lottery, on the yeah. midweek lottery. Oh, that's, well, the, pff, which doesn't is get very odd. That. It's a very you odd You did that show. in your gear as well, didn't you? <laughs> hmm? You did that in your mountain gear mm -hmm. as well, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> yeah. Terrific. <laughs> Rival by Noel's house party was another odd that's, event. You've done that one as well, have you? Yeah. That's, that's got very strange. <laughs> that's very odd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, with, so I think the show is fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine oh, here. Thanks. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. Come on, t tell us about us now. Well, no, in the United, United States, though, it's okay. difficult because they do have sort of, there are half-hour sitcoms, and mm -hmm. those, that's, that, that's that, and there's hour-long family dramas, hour-long police shows. It, it's not, it, they have to be really sort of rigidly divided, and what would you call uh, this show sort of crosses over that stuff. What would you call it? Uh, how would you, if you have to put it in a, I mean, just, I mean, for viewers <laughs> who haven't seen Due South, it's very hard to explain. It's hard yeah. to explain how it works, but it does work. Yeah, I don't, I don't, what would you, what would you you're, you're new to it, what would, how would you define it? Mum, um, I'm just joining you, South. it's a... Well, it's a buddy show that's sort of, uh, at the same time, you know, like it touches, like as it's farcical, it's dramatic, mm. it's uh, really touching, and each episode has a soul of its own, so mm. it's, it functions in a way that uh, other American shows sort of go, it's, oh, it's a slice of, uh, you know, they do a real slice of life kind yeah. of mm. television. Yeah, I mean, like, for example, how do you make a burning house and a magic going in to rescue people, how do you make that funny? You do, here it is, it's funny. This way. Stand aside. Oh, Frazier. Frazier, forget it. Trust me. You, I trust. It's the landing that I'm not so sure of. Frazier! Oh. Oh. Watch where you're putting your hands, mister. You know I'm carrying a little extra weight. All right, I'll push. Nice. <laughs> I, I still prefer the burning car sequence, though. That's, that's very good. Yeah, burning car is yeah. quite good. Now, the you've, for those who do see the series, you come in, we see you, uh, you have the name of your old partner, right? You yeah. come back to work, and it, it's a different partner mm -hmm. but with the same name, and everyone's pretending that it's the old guy. Yeah. And what's, now, this isn't a shower routine out of Dallas, is it's it? It's a dream. There's a reason for this. There's a reason for this. What's the reason? Well, the, the convention is that, that Ray Vecchio is a dead ringer for a guy in the mob who dies. So the old the FBI, partner, right. a, the, but the mob doesn't notice there's a window of opportunity and the FBI can take him and install him as a uh, undercover. Right. Uh. And in order to preserve his cover, someone has to be at the police station yeah. answering to the name of Ray Vecchio. But he's a very different character from your old partner. I know. It's, it's not exactly <laughs> like... We don't keep the ruse up for very long. No, no. It gets boring. <laughs> yeah. you go with it. You're actually from... I just talk to you first of all. What, what were you doing before this? You've done lots of stuff. Uh, We've yeah. seen you. Sort of lots of guest stars and yeah. movies of the week and yeah. some films. So. It doesn't get much better than joining Due South, does it? I mean, no, it's great. great. It's been a great year. I mean, yeah. Cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, back to you. You're from Canada, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, like my, mom, my mom's Canadian. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Born in um, Saskatchoon. Oh, yeah. Well, but you were, that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Very empty oh, oh, yeah. Saskatchewan. <laughs> Very empty, yeah, Saskatoon. Um, but you were born in Alberta, was it? Yeah. 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 Ah, where's that in Canada? That's the West that's Coast. the Rocky Mountain. The Rocky part, yeah. The West Coast. So do you, feel, do you still feel different from an American? Or have you become absorbed? Yeah. No, no, I oh, think no. most Canadians, we, we, we are different. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you don't really, yeah, it's American. kind of funny. I uh, know, Canadian. You're, you're Canadian. Canadian. Ah. Born in Britain, but I live in Canada. 
Yeah, yeah, come on. Definitely. But you don't really feel it until you're outside of the country. We have no. these endless debates in the country about national identity. Yeah. Do we have one? <laughs> these <laughs> kinds of conversations. <laughs> but you notice it when you're gone. If you have well, to ask, do we have an identity, then you probably don't. Right. Seriously, if you have to ask that question, don't you think? I mean, you know where people No, you do. It's just that you <laughs> But you have to go out of the country to know. And what, what is it? What it is. So what right. is it then? You're out of the country now. What, how would you define uh, Canadian identity? Oh, in identity? a sense. No, I'm not here no, to talk about it. my <laughs> not, <the> Canadian <laughs> identity. In a sense, can, Canadian <laughs> people are really kind. <laughs> <laughs> They're not as brash as the Americans. <laughs> do you like the French Canadians? Do you, do sure. Are you happy with them? Yeah. You think, you think gonna I wish they'd stop trying <laughs> to leave. <but laughs> yeah. No, we have those. They, they're going to leave. And yeah. They're not as friendly, you know. They're not, they're not as friendly out in... Because I mean up that way. Well, they're friendly. Quebec and Montreal, aren't they? They're, they're <laughs> difficult. They're difficult. They're difficult people. It's, it's quite exotic going up there, and it's interesting, but yeah. they're difficult. It's they're like not, a they're different not country. Yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah, and they get cross with you if you don't speak French. <laughs> Just like they do in France. Yeah, yes, that's exactly. Story. When's the new series start? In May. In May? One. Okay. Yeah. What time? Do you know? That I don't know. No, and no. I don't know the date. Well, okay. it starts in May. They'll announce, May. They'll announce we, it. They'll make it. We big. will announce it. You know you are. You know you are absolutely huge in Britain, don't you? I mean, you know how big you are here. Well, you are massive. We've been told. Yeah. Yeah. We like men in uniform. It's as yeah. simple as that, actually. Where did you? Oh, yes. Yeah. Nice. No, can't make sense. Acting is looks. Um, what about? Um, what, what, what did you have for dinner last night, by the way? Just go along oh, yeah. with it. We're odd, all right. Bass. Sea bass. Yeah. Sea bass. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Good. Okay, what did, you, what did you have for dinner last night? Is this a trick question? No. Vegetarian a veg thing. Are you a vegetarian? Um, sometimes. You pasta, see, some kind of pasta. I told you, I've yeah. been saying this for ages. If you ask people what they had for dinner last night, you will find something out about them. We know now that he's a partial vegetarian, which could have been interesting. <laughs> could have been. Could have been, but we haven't got the time to answer. You're a partial vegetarian. <laughs> I was you only eat the occasional cow. <laughs> 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 the old passing, uh, you know, herbivore. Um, <laughs> I asked her what she had for dinner last night. I've got a great story. Go on, tell, tell your story about last night. I was night. very sad and lonely. I was doing lots of work in the afternoon, and I, and I went to the cupboards, and the classic, the cupboards were bare. Mm. And, and so I opened the fridge door, and very sweetly, my boyfriend had dropped off a takeaway curry that he'd had the night before. With a note? And it, with a little note, because he thought I was going to be there the night before. And, and so she didn't go home? And I was sort of out, so I had a curry, and it was heaven. Yeah. I'm going to start asking everybody what they had for dinner last night, because every now and again you get a good story. Um, thank you very much, indeed. Thank you. I told you it was strange. We're odd. <laughs> we're odd. You're odd. Yeah, we admit we're odd. We're, odd. we're all strange. <laughs> we like we're it. proudly odd. <laughs> proudly weird. Okay. This, now, this is good. This You're is like, if you've got time, watch this. If you thought that your wedding, your wedding day had its wobbly moments, you've got to check this lot out. Look at this.